The topic of this video is graphing exponential functions. Let's look at a problem. Graph f of x equals 2 to the x power by hand by completing the table and plotting the points. Okay, let's begin. First, f of x is the same as y, so we can write y equals 2 to the x, and we're given the values of x. Let's plug in each one one at a time. So, if x equals negative 2, then y equals 2 to the negative 2, which, using our knowledge of intermediate algebra rules, is the same thing as 1 over 2 to the positive 2, which is 1 fourth. Or, if you prefer, the decimal 0 0.25. Next value. If x equals negative 1, then y equals 2 to the negative 1, which is the same as 1 over 2 to the positive 1, which is 1 half. And we get 0 0.5 as our decimal value. If x equals 0, then y equals 2 to the 0. Any non-zero number raised to the 0 power equals 1. So we get 1. The remaining values are pretty easy. I don't think I need to show any work here. If we replace x with 1, then y equals 2 to the first power, which is just 2. And if we replace x with 2, then y equals 2 to the second power, which is 4. Okay, so now we're going to plot all of our points. Let's start with the easy ones first. 2 comma 4, which would be here. 1 comma 2, which would be here. 0 comma 1, which would be here. That is our y-intercept. Negative 1 comma half which would be here, and negative 2 comma a quarter, which would be here. Any exponential function of the form f of x equals capital C times a to the x power has the horizontal asymptote y equals 0, also known as the x-axis. This is indeed a definition, this is indeed a function that matches this definition, uh, if capital C was a 1, and if lowercase a was a 2, then this is the function that we would get. And so, that tells us that we are approaching the x-axis as our horizontal asymptote. Okay, this is just one line drawn with a really thick bar. I want to make very clear, I'm not drawing two asymptotes here, I'm just drawing one asymptote. Because it's sitting directly on top of the x-axis, I'm making it really thick so that it's in the correct location, but you can still see it. And now all we have to do is connect all of our dots together. Alright, and there we go. We have now created the graph of f of x equals 2 to the x power.